Okay, I'm going to go over the changes needed to do the creative mini projects for the uh, paint pot tiny DB, uh, where we're going to use a list instead of just a single image. A couple of new components. Uh, one is this backgrounds component is a list picker. And as you can see, I haven't uh, set any of its elements, so initially it starts out as empty. What we're going to do is we're going to add photos to the list. Uh, as we take the photos. So that's the only new component. If we go over to the blocks editor, we'll see how this is done. One of the new elements is we have now a list variable. I've named it backgrounds. Initially, it's an empty list. As we take pictures with our camera, once the picture is taken, in addition to setting that image that the camera returns as the background image for the canvas, notice that we add the image to this global backgrounds list. Okay, so I'm using the add items to list block to add the image to the list. And then notice that I store the entire list, the entire global backgrounds list uh, under the tag picture list in the tiny DB. This is a big change here. Uh, instead of storing just the image in the tiny DB, I'm storing the entire list. Then what about when we initialize the app? How do we handle that? This is probably the most challenging part of the project. When the app initializes, we need to retrieve the list of pictures that we've stored in the database and assign it to the backgrounds variable. Remember, that is initially empty list when the app starts up. We retrieve whatever we find in the database and assign it to the backgrounds list. Of course, the list could be empty. And in fact, it will be empty if this is the very first time we're running the app with this new feature in it. So this uh, variable could be the empty list. But we can use that information then to decide how to assign an image to the background of the canvas by using an if-else algorithm here. So we check if the list is empty. This is a block. These blue, light blue blocks are from the lists drawer over here. You can see there's many functions that we can use to process lists. So we check if the backgrounds list is empty. If it is, then we simply use our kitty image as we did before in the initial version of the app. Otherwise, if it's not empty, then let's just pick a random item off that backgrounds list. That'll be an image, or actually we know it'll be the file path for an image, and we'll assign that as the background image for the canvas. So that takes care of the first two parts of the uh, projects. The last part was to let the user select an image from the list to use uh, as the background. Okay, And for that, we're going to use a list picker element. Up till now, when we've used list picker, we've only used after picking. And that was because in the designer, we initialized our list with using the elements from string property in the designer. However, we're going to now set the elements to the list picker on the fly, programmatically, as the program is running. And therefore, we want to use this before picking event handler, which will fire right after the user clicks on the list picker button here, but before the list is displayed to the user. What we do is we simply grab the backgrounds list and assign it as the elements of the list picker. So that will give us a list of choices that will appear to the user. And then, of course, the after picking works the same way. We'll let the user select one of the choices, and we'll make that selection the background image of the canvas. So I hope uh, you found that helpful. That was uh, an interesting set of projects, and um, we've learned a lot from it.